I just wondered what your initial reaction was when you saw the script. Obviously, Sasha does push the envelope when it comes to comedy. Did you sort of do a couple of double takes? You were like, uh, did I misread that, or is that really what's going to happen? It's funny how you... I had to read it very quickly, because actually, initially, I met him, and we just improvised a few scenes together that he kind of told me what the rough basis for the scene was, and I had very little to go on. So I kind of signed up on the basis of the fact that I wanted to work with him. Subsequently, when I read the script, it, I just remember it making me laugh a lot. And I hadn't really thought about how much there was in there that is basically designed to humiliate Sebastian, my character. But I sure found that out when we did the movie. And, and why was Sasha someone you wanted to work with? Just because he's anarchic and different, unique. Um, and, you know, I've laughed at the stuff that he's done. And that's a, that's a real connection, I think. There's something very alluring about comedy and somebody that can make you laugh. So I felt like he was also working in a kind of genre that I wasn't particularly familiar with. So it was a real challenge. And what about seeing that um, working process up close and, and being in scenes with them? What, what was that like? Fascinating, because it wasn't really as I'd imagined. There was a script that was very funny in itself. We did four weeks of rehearsal where we made up stuff that was even funnier. But very little of that has made it into the final film because it's improvised. You know, we'd spend most of our days on set starting with the scene as a... Uh, you know, the the basis for what we we're going to do that day, and then basically kind of just make stuff up, you know. And whatever was funny was was mined like gold. And I think what you see in the movie is a combination of the funniest stuff that we did over over two years it took to finally come to fruition. And what does Sebastian make of uh, Nobby sort of arriving in his life? Well, he can't believe it. You know, I mean, the thing is that they're, they're brothers who are inseparable when they're young. And there's a rather poignant plot where you see them as young boys inseparable and then they're separated because they're adopted into different families. And basically, my character becomes a kind of government black ops spy stroke assassin. He's a kind of cold-hearted killer by any other name, but he happens to work for the government. And Nobby has stayed in Grimsby and brought up a huge family and you know hasn't really achieved much, you would think. But of course... The, the plot over the course of the film basically shows you that this cold-hearted assassin doesn't have all the answers and that actually the guy you think is a moron often does. So, uh, yeah. And Nobby's uh, different to the other characters that we've seen Sasha create in the past, but I just wondered, uh, you know, as a fan of his work, if you notice any sort of common threads or common sort of traits perhaps bet between them. There are, he's unafraid, you know. That's the thing about Sasha. He's, uh, whether it's Borat going into that arena in front of all those guys at the rodeo or, or wrestling with a huge naked man or the stuff that Bruno gets up to, you know, or even when he, the Oscars happened and he went as the dictator and spilled his so-called grandfather's ashes over Ryan Seacrest. You know, he's unafraid of controversy and pushing the envelope and Nobby's in the same arena. And how did you find playing the straight man? I've just been speaking to Isla Fisher and she said she was a little bit frustrated that she didn't get to do the out there sort of comedy stuff herself. How did, how did you feel? Well, Isla's really funny in her own right. You know, she's a comedian as well as an actress. I've not really done much comedy and I was at first a little unsure about how it was going to work, but quickly realised the best way was to play it dead straight. You know, the action element of the movie is my department, so we do the action and we do the straight story. There just so happens to be this idiot who's come along for the ride. So actually, the humour in the part that I play comes out of his frustration and uh, impotence at the stupidity of his brother. And just finally, I don't want to give sort of too much away for people that haven't seen it, but how would you prepare people that are about to go and watch this in the cinema? Uh, I don't know if you really can prepare people. You've just got to, like remind them that Sasha seems put on this earth to create anarchic chaos and to push the envelope as much as he can and press buttons to see where the border lines between humour and possibly, you know, being offensive. So it, it, it treads a line so often, but, you know, the bottom line is it's really funny. Mark Strong, thanks very much. My pleasure. Yeah, My pleasure. pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!